Welcome. This video will give you a quick introduction on how to install and set up your Landroid. After it's done, you can sit back and let it do the mowing for you. Installing your Landroid is easy. You'll find all you need inside the box. Your lawn probably includes solid obstacles that can be hit and areas like flower beds, a pond or a driveway that you want your Landroid to avoid. Use the boundary wire to set the boundaries for the Landroid. Place the wire in one continuous loop along the borders and around any obstacles you want Landroid to avoid. Landroid will operate freely and safely within this boundary. If the Landroid hits any solid obstacles, it steps back and changes direction. Your Landroid will also avoid those areas that you've marked with the boundary wire. Let's assume this is your lawn. These cones represent its borders, which could be a hedge, a driveway, a wall, a fence. By setting the boundary wire, you control where Landroid goes. Let's see how. Once set, the boundary wire will form an invisible fence. Besides setting the limits of the mowing area, the boundary wire will also guide your Landroid to its charging base. When it has finished mowing, or when it needs some charge, your Landroid will find its way to the charging station. The charging station is the first thing you have to set up. Place the base station along the perimeter, on a flat and smooth spot that's convenient. Take into account you'll have to connect its plug to an electric socket. The charge base is the departure and arrival point of the boundary wire you're going to lay down. On the rear side of the base, there are two clamps for connecting the wire and the mains power cord connected to the AC-DC transformer. One side of the charging station is open to allow the Landroid to reach the recharging points. The Landroid will always follow an anti-clockwise route to the charging base. This is why you should position the base so that this arrow on your charging station is pointing towards the inside of your lawn. The base should be placed along a straight line with a couple of meters to the front and the rear completely clear and free from any curves or obstacles. This is so your Landroid can reach its charging base with ease. Let's now see how to lay down the boundary wire. We'll start from the charge station. Use the pegs that are supplied in the kit. Keep the boundary wire about 45 centimeters from the border of your lawn. The pegs should be placed 50 centimeters from each other as to keep the wire firmly in place. The growth of the grass and the natural settlement of the soil will make the wire completely invisible in time. Make sharp corners into smooth curves. The boundary wire sets the perimeter of the Landroid's territory to make it avoid areas such as this flower bed. To mark these areas, simply divert the wire from the perimeter, loop the wire around the flower bed, and then rejoin the perimeter again, as shown here.
Keep the wire from the perimeter and back to it close to each other. Once the wire is completely laid down, keep one meter spare and then cut the wire. You can now fix the charging base into its permanent position. Use the nails supplied. Now cut the two ends of the wire to a length that's convenient to reach the clamps and then strip the ends. Take the end that departs from the back of the base and connect to the red clamp. Take the end of the wire that sits underneath the base and connect it to the black clamp. You can now connect the power cord to your socket. This power cord is 20 meters long. Please note that the electricity current that goes through the boundary wire is very low voltage and is therefore totally safe to you and your pets. Now that your Landroid has its territory marked and its charging station ready, all you have to do is programming its operation. It will take you another few minutes, but it's well worth it. Once this final step is done, you'll never have to mow your lawn again. Refer to the quick programming guide that's included in the box. Keep the guide in a safe place for future reference. With Landroid, you are always in control. It keeps your grass perfectly manicured. Thanks to frequent cuts, the grass clippings will be so short you'll never need to rake the clippings up. Your Landroid is also extremely quiet. So quiet, in fact, that you can even program it to mow during the night. Your Landroid will disregard those segments where two wires have been housed in the same groove. When it's raining, the Landroid will automatically stop mowing and get back to charge. Not because it's afraid of rain, but because mowing wet grass does not produce the best results. Your Landroid is designed and built to ensure safety and security. You can set a security pin to avoid unauthorized people operating it and prevent theft. We've also designed Landroid to be really safe. For this reason, the blade is far away from the edge of the machine to prevent accidents. Moreover, it's provided with lift sensors that will stop the blade immediately if anyone tries to lift it up. For further details on installation and operation, please refer to the user guide. So, having invested a little time in setting up your Landroid, you can now sit back and enjoy the feeling that you'll never have to mow your lawn again.